Hi Floss Tube, it's Kim with Kim J Inspired here for another week of Floss Tube fun. This is Floss Tube number 17. This is a channel about cross stitch, talk a little bit about life. Every once in a while I may sneak another craft in, but not anytime soon I don't think. I want to thank everyone who watches every week and who comments. I enjoy reading all of your stories and getting to know you a little bit better. If you are new here, please subscribe. We have a lot of fun here. And I love, I just love meeting new people. I don't do these for any other reason except for the fact that I like to meet people and share my love for cross stitch. Um, anyway, I want to get started. This is my second take. Um, I was doing the first take and I was about, and I did a close up. My hair is a mess. Um, it's very, my hair is very thin. Right now I've shellacked it with hairspray and it's pretty bad. Um, and when I did a close up when I was showing something during my first take, I mean, I looked like cousin it. It was just all over the place. So I've shellacked it down now. It's not really pretty right now, but hopefully it won't be like making me look all crazy um, during the video. I wanna get right into the stitching because you know I like to keep these about 30 minutes so you can go and enjoy all the other wonderful floss tubers that we have on YouTube and, and actually do more, you know, maybe you have things to do. Again, as usual on Saturday, we're planning a fun day with my son. He's actually gonna be spending the night with us and, and I'm, I love these weekends. They're like the highlight of my day or my week, or, and my day. There it is, my highlight of my life. All right, so let's get right to it. So I didn't get to do a lot of stitching this week. I was kind of tired, had some changes in my responsibilities with my with my job, um, which, you know, I'm a freelancer, so it's a contract job. It's a lot of fun, though, and I love it, and it was a great week. It was just a lot of work. But I did, so Thursday night, I'm tired, and I am, I go to bed pretty early. I'm lying in bed, and I'm scrolling through Facebook, and what do I see but these beauties? Are these not gorgeous? I hope that the glare is allowing you to see this. These are from Luminous Fiber Arts. It's a Christmas bird trio. I love birds, guys. I love birds. And these are amazing. I love them. So I got out of bed. I downloaded them. I kitted them up. And I actually started one. And then I worked on it a little bit last night. I'm in love with these. Um, this is, this one is the, the little, like, chickadee. I'm doing this on some 28-count fabric. It is from Leela May Designs. It's called Ashley's Aqua Fabric. It's 28-count even weave, and it was just perfect for this. Now, my centering is quite off. This will kind of really be a lot on the edges, but it'll be fine for my first one. But this is, I kind of work, this is where I am. On the first one, I needed some floss for the other two, which I have ordered, and I am just so excited about these. This is in, I'm, right now I'm storing it in this bag from um, Joyful Stitching. Deborah made this gorgeous bag. I actually plan to put another project in it, but that didn't work out. Right now I'm gonna do that, but I wanted to use a beautiful bag, and my floss is always a mess, so I'm not, yeah. It's a mess right now. It's gorgeous, but it's gonna be, right now the birds are in this bag. And don't forget, we do have a bag giveaway today, guys. I'm so excited. I'm also continuing to work on my Prairie Schooler Santas. I keep them all in just this little big red bag because I have a lot of Prairie Schooler Santa charts. And right now, I am working on the 2019 Peace on Earth because I feel like we could all need use a little peace in this crazy world right now with all the things going on. So I worked on this a little bit on Sunday and this is where I am. I'm not, I really want to finish one Prairie Schooler a month. I don't know if I'll get this finished. We only have like a week until the month ends. And I don't know how much stitching I will do this weekend because um, I said my son's gonna be here. Lots of times we watch movies and I stitch and I do get some in, but I don't know. This is, um, by, by the way, this is just some 28 count, and I'm sorry, some 14 count oatmeal Ada, which is, I love oatmeal Ada, 14 or 18 count. Whoops, look how I did that. There you go. I think this is going to be a good one for if I ever do a blooper reel. I think I'm going to do a lot of crazy stuff today, including the shellac hair. Ha ha. All right. My next project, I do want to get this done, guys. Steve, I know you guys love Steve. He's actually going to be making his um, appearance later on because he's going to draw. He's got a birthday coming up. And I'm terrible about birthday gifts for him. But I really want to finish this by his birthday. This is a kit. I told you guys that I, y'all have seen this a lot. This is a little kit. A little glare there. My husband is a veteran of the Air Force. He served four years. 
And so I have been trying to speed along. Y'all know I'm not a big fan of this project because I should have changed the fabric. It's not, I'm using everything, it's a kit. I'm using everything that it came with. I am actually getting some, doing really well and getting some work done on that plain. That is all tent stitching over with the, um, so like a light blue. And it's going pretty fast. It's going faster than I thought. So I'll be working a lot on that. I want to finish it by his birthday in early November. I have some f finishing ideas. I don't want him to know about them. And he's sitting right there like he always is. So we are going to be working on that one. My other whip this week, and man, I am flying through this. My other whip this week is, of course, for the pumpkin birthday sow with Laura with Stitching by the Shore. This is Hello Pumpkin. It is from Priscilla Blaine of Stitching with the Housewives. I love Priscilla and Chelsea's patterns. This is on some 18 count Be Stitch Me called Pumpkin Patch. It's, it's got the shiny things, the sparkly stuff. I love it. I changed all the colors in this. This is actually done on black and the pumpkin is actual, this, this pumpkin up top is orange and I had to make it white so it'd show up on the orange fabric. Hello, hello. That would be great for the video to show me doing this, Did for the screenshot they do. And um, I'm, I'm actually kind of, I'm closer to a finish than it looks like. But I love stitching on this. Laura, happy birthday, by the way. I know you're probably watching, and I'm sorry. I'm always behind on floss tube, guys. I watch everybody's floss tube that I can. But I have their sports, which since the Braves are out of, you know, lost, didn't go to the World Series. They lost the playoff round. I don't know. Steve would be able to tell me the name of it later. I always forget the names of them. But um, I, there'll be more time for me to watch Floss Tube, even though I kind of binge watched some Netflix last night. Eh. But I do try to catch up and watch everyone's Floss Tube, and I do try to comment. And you might see me commenting like weeks past your video. I'm sorry. It's just sometimes I have to work or I just other things happen. That's all my whips and starts this week. That's all I worked on. I haven't even fully finished some things I had hoped to get to for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Hopefully, I will get to those. Um, this week maybe, but I do want to get a lot of stitching in. And again, my son's going to be here all weekend. And yeah, if we sit down and watch a movie, I'll probably pick up my stitching, but I'm going to really focus on spending time with him because again, highlight of my week. That boy has my heart. Haul. I do have some good haul, so maybe this, will, this might be a quick video. And I am talking kind of fast and I'm going to try to slow down. I decided to purchase, and I've never purchased one of their magazines. I purchased this Stone, Stony Creek. This is their, it's, got, it's their summer edition, but it's got a lot of their Christmas patterns in it. So I got this in the mail. I think I got it Saturday. I purchased it because, okay guys, you're going to laugh. You know my obsession, this flamingo pattern. I love it. It says, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. I hope you guys can see that because I'm not looking around you. That's kind of weird to peer around here. I'm not a professional at doing floss tube, guys. Sorry. But also, my husband had noted. I say my husband, y'all. You guys know Steve. I'm going to have to show them this way because these are gorgeous right here. These little with the buffalo check. And also, these right here. I can't show them to you on the page because it's going to show the pattern. But those two things, I don't know if I'll get to them this year because obviously I'm stitching all the bird ornaments this year. But I do, I may get to one of them. But I love them. So I got the magazine for, I thought it was good for those patterns. It's my first one. It's a pretty good magazine. Um, one thing about Stony Creek patterns, they have a ton of backstitch. Guys, I don't like backstitch. If you hear that chirping thing in the background, that's my washer going off. I don't know if you can hear it or not. We're trying to get caught up with everything before my son gets here. So that was that was a fun purchase this week, and I'm excited. It, maybe I'll, you know, of the flamingo, I've got a lot of flamingo patterns. It's just gonna go in the stash of all the, the regular flamingo patterns. I also, this was really impressive. Sometimes when you buy things on cross stitch, only stash and load, you, it's hit or miss um, about what you get. But I got this gorgeous Prairie Schooler pattern. It's one that I've wanted. It's called Harvest Time. I got it because I want to do the turkey and the village scene, and I've seen so many. I'm in the Prairie Schooler cross stitch group. I've wanted this. This came in in perfect condition. Uh, it was for usually when sometimes when you get stuff on stash unload, it, but no, look at how she put like backing on it. It's in a it's sealed, and I don't remember who I bought it from. If I remember, I'll link to her below. I've bought things from her before, 
but yay, I got this, and this is gonna go into my fall stitching for next year. Sometimes Steve, he's looking at me. It's like, what, you plan your stitching for next year? Yeah, I have a stash, you know. I think I told you guys, I categorized all my stash when I was on vacation. It was kind of weird to realize all the stuff that I have, and I really don't need anything else. But guess what, I keep buying. I also have two really good pieces of fabric that came in this week. I got this from Bee Stitch Me. I won this on the Friday night, Friday night, that uh, Friday night fight night. It actually turned into be a, a Saturday scuffle. This is Frost. It's kind of a gray color. It didn't, it's not what I exactly thought it was going to be. And I got an 18 count piece. Um, Cause it, I don't know, it's showing up pretty true to color. It's just a gray color. It looks gray to me. It might have a, some little bit of purple in it. So I had plans for it, but now that it's not, hold on. Sorry for my extreme close up. I'm not so sure, you're gonna hear a little crinkling here. I wanna make sure I get this back in its protective packaging. I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. So we'll think about it, who knows? Who knows what will happen for this fabric. Also off uh, Stash and Low Cross Stitch Only, this was another great find. Again, came packaged and I was real impressed with it. I managed to score some Lakeside Linen some maple sugar and i love the name of it maple sugar is that not pretty it's a 28 count lakeside linen i hope i said that right um i got this off stash unload i have plans for this i have some samplery things in my stash that i'm going to be stitching on this i may do one of the um christmas ornaments from hands across the sea samplers the girls that i showed you last week i may do those on this lakeside linen I know my husband is looking over here. Hold on one second. Like, how am I gonna walk through that? You're throwing things in my way. So look, see, I can read his mind. I know. All right. So that's really, gosh, we're only 11 minutes in. This might be a short video and that's okay. Um, so we're gonna do, first I wanna show you what the giveaway is for this week and then I'll show you the giveaway for next week. But you guys love this gorgeous bag and I do too. I love it. It says, let love brew. And, and Deborah, she graciously gave us the accessory bags. She's amazing. I can't wait to do my next order from her. I order from her about once a month and I usually buy two, maybe three, maybe more next this time. I don't know. Because I already, I'm kind of like trying to budget. So what I've done is I've, I go on her Etsy shop and, and Deborah, you may not know this. I have a list of all your bags and, and the order I think I'm going to buy them in. And, and I also have some of the giveaways planned. I have not counted how many of her bags I have upstairs, but there's a, there's quite a few. And then we also had this gorgeous Santa Claus bag. I love it. Actually, there are two things of floss in there because I actually added one in there from another. <laughs> actually, I think it came from the um, accessory bag. Okay, this Santa Claus is so happy. Does he not make you smile? I love it. We're gonna do a drawing for that. Steve is gonna come and, and do that drawing in a moment. I do wanna say, I absolutely loved your stories about Christmas and drinking coffee. Brenda D told a fun story about how her son, I think we all need to believe in Santa Claus, okay? Kids, if you're watching, Santa Claus is real. Um, she told a fun story about how the kids are trying to tell her kids they didn't believe in Santa. When my son, my son believed in Santa Claus, at least to my knowledge, until he was like, until he was 12. And I talked to him one day and I said, Lee, really, do you still believe in Santa? He goes, I'm just afraid if I don't, I won't get all the presents. Okay, so he was just kind of playing all of us all these years. <laughs> um, but hey, Santa's real. He just, he might not be who you think he is, but I, I believe in Santa, kid, Santa is real. Also loved all your coffee stories. I'm not a coffee drinker. My husband is a major coffee drinker. He could drink two cups of coffee before he goes to bed and still sleep better than I do at night. And um, I can't remember who was telling the story about the Keurig. Any, I have my list here. Hold on, because I thought that was a funny, funny story because I had kind of a similar experience. I use our Keurig to make tea. And I've had plenty of times that my husband didn't know about when I got up very early in the morning to make my tea and uh, kind of spilled all the Keurig stuff everywhere. So, yeah. Um, I don't even know where it is. Well, anyway, one of you guys told a funny story. Oh, Cheryl, you told that story. Yeah, about forgetting to put the cup under the Keurig, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's happened to me. It's also happened, I've tried to turn it on and there's no water in it. 
Uh, Steve has no idea some of the adventures I have with that cure because um, I used to go to work at five o'clock in the morning when I was in radio and I, sometimes I would make myself a cup before I go to work of tea or something and sometimes and I still get up earlier than he does because I go to work at six I just work at home and yeah me and the Keurig we, we, we're down now we're good everything's good with me and the Keurig but we've had some issues from time to time I will tell you a funny story my parents didn't drink coffee either and um, when I've moved out on my own for the first time I was 23 years old. I was news director of a radio station down in Griffin, Georgia, and I, I realized that I didn't really know anything because I went to college in my hometown and I lived at home. So my roommate, she liked to drink coffee. We were having some people over. She goes, hey, will you go start the coffee? So I went and I did what I'd seen people do. I filled up the little container. I put the water, I put the container under the um, little coffee thing, the little filter thing. And I put the coffee in the filter, and I was waiting for the coffee to make. Um, she came in there. She's like, "Why is the water sitting under the sitting there?" And I go, "Because I'm waiting for it to make the coffee." She goes, uh, "You got to pour the water into the little what do you call it thing?" Steve would probably know. I didn't know you had to pour the water and then hurry up, put the the little pitcher down underneath, and let the coffee flow through. I just thought you put the water under the coffee, and somehow it just magically kind of flowed through but anyway that was kind of my funny story and I can make coffee now because I am married to a coffee drinker obviously so we're gonna draw for that for that wonderful bag and one of you may be taking on the coffee bag if not I get to keep it yay I'll tell you about the giveaway next week because I'm, I'm excited about this one too um I know you guys some some people celebrate Christmas some don't that's great so I wanted to pick something so that you guys can get started on your holiday stitching whether it's Christmas no matter what it is or whether you just stitch Santa's or whether you just stitch snowmen so I have this book and I I have a lot of holiday stitching Christmas books have a lot of that stuff so I had somebody passed this book along to me and I'm never going to be able to stitch anything from it as I said I have tons of things this is from Ursula Michaels, and God, I love her stuff. It's called Ornaments Galore. This book came out in 2010, and it has 48 cute little designs. Now, it has some Christmas. It has Jingle Bells. I love the penguin. If some of you like to stitch penguins, it's gorgeous. Also, on the back, here's some more of the designs. It's got another cute snowman, and there is a cardinal on here. This cardinal over here, he's adorable. A little hat on. So... I'm going to be giving away this book. All I want you to do this week is just tell me your favorite holiday memory. Some of you guys have been sharing them with your Santa stories. I wanted to show you some more of these pictures. This is a great book. So, and it's, in, it's I haven't used it. It was fully intact. There are no markings that I have seen on here. I don't think, yeah, she just passed, somebody passed this along to me. And like I said, I'm not going to stitch it. It does still have the price tag from wherever she bought it. Anyway, just the cutest little ornaments. Um, but I'm just not going to have time to do them. I really wanted to, and she passed along to me pretty soon after my parents died. And I was doing a lot of cardinal, and I'm still doing a lot of cardinal things. I just haven't gotten back to them yet. But there is a cute little design, if I could find the page again. And I think it's toward the front. It would help if I, maybe I should have planned this a little better. I hope that it is not, yeah, I'm going to have to fold it this way. These little cardinals kissing right here are cute. But I already have some cardinals kissing that I've done and completed, and I have some other cardinal things. So, anyway, if you want to win this book, just tell me your favorite holiday memory. If you celebrate the holidays, how you celebrate the holidays. Um, we just do a lot of crazy stuff. We have my family Christmas. It's kind of famous. I hope it, I hope it happens this year. Things with COVID are a little bit weird. Um, we're trying to be careful. So... Anyway, all right, let's get to the bag drawing. Let's call the man over here. Let's call the Steve J. Over. Come on over, Steve. Let's do this drawing. Again, aren't these the cutest bags? One goes to you, one stays with me. I can't wait. And then I can't wait to show you what I'm anticipating giving away next month. She has some of the cutest little bags. Oh, my goodness. All right, say hello, Steve. Good morning, everybody. Only, some people may not be watching it in the morning. It's almost 12 o'clock here. So, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Hey, he's got his Georgia hat on. They're not playing today. Tennessee's playing Alabama. So, if you're a praying person, say some prayers. We're probably not going to win, but we're going to have a good time. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, Georgia played Alabama. 
I went, I went to sleep. I have a habit of going to sleep on the couch in the middle of sports. And when, I think when I went to, when I fell asleep, I think Georgia was winning, weren't they? Or they were close. They were, they were leading at halftime. Yeah, so, and I wake up and then apparently they were slaughtered. There's been a lot of teams played it, had to lead at halftime that lost the game. That's yeah. I'm just realizing, guys, this camera's a little crooked and I'm not changing this, so I apologize if the camera's a little crooked. All right, Steve. Oh, by the way, that, that part you want to talk about is the reservoir. <laughs> the water. reservoir that you pour the coffee in. Okay. No, the water. The water in. The water. See, I can't. I can't even think of it now. So yeah. It'll take us another ten minutes to tell people how it works. So. <laughs> well, as, as you know, so so to defense, so so to remind you of my story, I didn't know to pour the water in the reservoir. I just had the water sitting on the what is that called the burner the burner had to and i had did have the coffee in the little filtery thing i'm like why is it not coming down and going into the water it, it gets well it gets pumped you have to shove it in there's a switch that makes that pump go on yeah okay so we're, getting, <laughs> we're getting into technical stuff here. all right, right we're gonna stop he's got a more technical mind than i do i'm the more creative one he, he gets into these really technical there's things there's nothing wrong with saying you know if, if if you got 30 minutes worth of time to tell people then then it's okay but this is just a short show so. well i also think most people know how to make coffee i <laughs> yeah. just didn't i think most they people understand they, it they yeah they don't care how it works they just want it to make coffee yeah that's it all right steve draw a name all right could draw a name i'm excited go. who's gonna win this beautiful a be your choice of a bag and i'm gonna have to find out which bag you wanted too when i open this up Teresa. i hope i say your name right chuckle chuckle Teresa. You have won your bag. Now I'm going to go back see and see which bag you wanted and which bag stays in our house. Teresa, Teresa, Teresa. You know, I should have had these things written out better. I know you're on here because I read it. All right. You want the Santa bag, so you are getting the Santa bag. I am keeping the coffee bag. I'm probably going to order the Santa bag. Well, yeah, I'm going to order the Santa bag for me anyway. Teresa, you're going to get this wonderful bag. I mail out on Wednesdays. That's just the easiest day for me to mail out. I will send you a tracking number. Cheryl, um, your, your win from last week should be there today. Um, I actually have been tracking your pack. I try to track all your packages because I've sent some things out, some stitchy kindness out that has taken a while. So I've been trying to, to do tracking on all the packages that I send out. So Cheryl, you won last week. Your magazine should be there today. Teresa, I will mail out your Santa Claus bag on Wednesday and let you know when it, hopefully we can kind of keep a track of when it's coming. Y'all, all you need to do, Teresa, email me. My email is in the description box, which will be put up before we leave today to go see my son. So it should be up this afternoon. If not, it is on the previous floss tubes that I've done. So congratulations, Teresa. You guys, don't worry. We do a bag giveaway every month. So you got every month, once a month, you got an opportunity to win one of Deborah's bags. I love giving them away because I want everybody to have one of these wonderful things. And I want everybody to have all the cross stitch things. So we have some great giveaways. I do want to tell you one last thing. If you stayed with me, thank you. Um, I did purchase um, Maria, our friend at Needle Art on Charts. We'll be doing a giveaway from her next month. And we've done one giveaway from her already. Um, she is doing, if you go to her Facebook page, she is allowing you to get into her Floss of the Month Club for November and December. And all you need to do is just let her know which kind of floss you want, whether it's, I think she's doing gentle art sampler threads, and then she's also doing Weeks Dye Works. Of course, I jump right on that with the Weeks Dye Works, and I am getting that. So go check out Needle Art on Charts. Her, her um, website is down below, and contact Maria. She is really, good. her customer service is amazing, and that's why I am, I just, I love it. I mean, I ordered some floss from her a couple of weeks ago, and it came so fast. It was amazing. So, anyway, I hope everybody got to hear that about Maria's um, Floss of the Month with Needle Art on Tarchi and get in on that for only November and December. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you guys for being nice to my husband. Yeah, you can tell I like him a little bit. Um, anything you got to say, Steve? I always let Steve have the last word. Only on Floss Tube, not, not in our marriage, okay? <laughs> the last word. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's quite a comedian. He does keep me in stitches here. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Thanks for listening to my rambling. Have a great stitchy week. We'll see you next week. We love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.